Hi, thanks for joining in. My name is Susan Ford, and I'm here today to show you a nice short little bob. And I have a beautiful model, Adriana. And what inspired me for this haircut today was Adriana's beautiful jawline and her cheekbones. So I'm going to give her a cut that's going to accentuate both, add a little bit of graduation for the shape, and a nice sweeping fringe. Here's a view of the partings, our fringe area and our four quadrants, and I have subsectioned in for my starting points of the haircut. Thinking about the end result in mind, I am going to cut Adriana's hair with a feather plie razor, straight edge razor, and a great product to prep the hair with is Damage Control in our Brilliant line. Starting this haircut at the front because the focal point here is where I place this line. I want this line to sit just below Adriana's chin and have a very strong perimeter line here. So what I'm going to do is do their head tilted away, starting right at the very front of the haircut where the focal point is. I am going to place my fingers, not too much tension because I know it's going to shrink up a little bit. And with the heel of my razor, I'm going to very lightly just take my first section. As we transition into the back, we're going to use that hair that falls behind the ear as our guide. It's important to check your balance. Uh, after completing both sides, front right, front left, we're looking at the balance. Once your precision is right in there, then we're gonna begin transitioning into the back. So we'll take a section of hair at the nape and bring our fingers to our guide right here. Let that guide pop out and then begin your perimeter through the back. We want to create a nice sharp line here, so we're using a closed blade. So a closed blade means that the blade is not moving too much, so what we're getting is we're getting a very strong perimeter line through here, which will enhance and really put the focus on the line right here at the neck. Once we've created a solid perimeter line on Adriana's hair, our subsequent sections will be slightly elevated and we're going to change the stroke of the razor. All right, now we're doing a tipping technique, which is taking the tip of the razor and just very lightly going in, adding a little bit of hidden texture into the hair. The elevation is going to give us some graduation as well. So the graduation will sit very nicely on top of that strong perimeter line. So by simply elevating and adding some texture into the hair, we get a much softer graduation than with the scissors. When we get to the top of the head, we're going to pull all of the hair back, elevate slightly higher than the previous, work into our length first. Nice open blade. And then very lightly on the tipping because this is the top layer, so we don't want any of this hidden texture to be exposed because it is laying right on the very top. So the final phase of the cut before we move into the fringe is just to seal the ends. So what I say by seal the ends, what I mean by that is I'll just pick up the hair and just very lightly point cut to make sure that we have each section or each piece of hair that's cut and there is no hair left behind. We're going to create a very strong concave shape, starting about the tip of the nose and really curving that around. So uh, Adriana will have some versatility with this technique. So we're taking, within our triangular section, we're taking another narrow but deep triangular section and we are bringing this hair down, slightly elevate it. And where I see the tip of the nose, then I will go with quite an open, open blade. 
to create more texture. And my next section will be brought down to that and creating a long, nice strong concave shape. The final stage of the haircut is to bring everything forward from the crown forward and pull your fingers till you see the guide. Once you see the guide, then very slight blend from the back to the front. I'm going to use a little bit curly style prep. 